to show you how to make Dekororu. Dekororu is decorated raw cake and it is very popular in Japan and I received a lot of requests from many people so I'm finally making this tutorial. You can change the design and make a new style so I hope you get an idea how to make it and I hope you can try it out. I bought a book to make my decorol. It comes with many cute decorol ideas, some stencils, and the silicone baking sheet. You can cut the silicone sheet to fit your cake pan. Then cut out the stencil you want to use. Grease the silicone sheet with cooking oil. Place the silicone sheet and the stencil in the pan. You don't want to mess up, so measure all the ingredients before you start. First, let's make egg yolk butter. You need egg yolk, granulated sugar, cooking oil, beat them until white. Then add water, cooking oil, a few drops of vanilla extract, then mix well. Now sift in cake flour, mix into gruel. Add red food coloring until you reach your desired pink color. Now let's draw the pattern. In two small cups, place one teaspoon each of the egg yolk butter. Then in a different bowl, place one egg white. Whip it until soft peaks form. Add a pinch of cornstarch. Then beat until stiff peaks form. Now add half teaspoon cake flour in each cup. Then add red and black food coloring and mix well. Add 2 tablespoons each of meringue and mix well. Transfer to the pastry bags and snip off the end. First, trace the flowers in black. Then bake in the oven for 30 seconds. Second, fill in the flowers in pink. Then trace polka dots with pink and black. Again, bake in the oven. Now let's move on to the base butter. You need 4 egg whites. Whip them until salt peaks form. Add the leftover meringue. Whip them together. Then add granulated sugar. Whip until stiff peaks form. Then add 1 teaspoon cornstarch. Whip until firm peaks form. Add the meringue into the egg yolk butter one third at a time. Now 
Mix until the butter drips back into the bowl like a ribbon. Pour and spread the butter into the cake pan. Drop the pan on the counter and tap the bottom to raise the air bubbles out of the batter. Then bake in the oven for 14 minutes. When it's done, cut around the pan sides. Then cover with parchment paper and flip upside down. Remove the stencil and the silicone sheet. Then cover with another parchment paper and leave to cool. Now let's make the syrup. Mix all the ingredients very well. Now let's make the filling. Whisk cream, sugar, and liquor until they form a stiff peak. Flip the cake upside down. Remove the parchment paper. Cut off both ends diagonally. Make shallow cuts on the surface. Gently brush the cake with syrup. Coat the surface with cream, leave an inch at the top. Place cut strawberries. Roll up the cake and twist the ends. Then chill in the fridge for more than an hour. It becomes really delicious on the next day. Cut off both ends and reshape. And now it's done! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial.